I'm just like, I am not, it, Trevor should be the one using the gun. I am just shooting everything and everyone in the room. <laughs> hey everybody, and welcome to Aqua Creep. This is a game that uh, the dev messaged me and said uh, that it was kind of like The Thing, that classic movie, and uh, it's basically the same idea, only set in a different environment. And so I'm excited to check it out. So click here to begin. Oh, nice. Look at the little dude. Oh, that's great. I love his flashlight on his chest there. Oh, this is the credits. Love it. Okay, so these must be the voice. Oh, look at the little, look at the little, uh... Jellyfish, that's awesome. There's bubbles coming up. These must be the voice actors, I'm guessing. Gotta be. This is great. Look at the fish and everything. Wow. <laughs> He's just swimming along. This is amazing. Uma. Oh, this is great. The fish and everything. Wow, love it. And I'm headed to the surface. Hey, change from wetsuit. Shift to run, okay. Talk to Thomas. Storm's definitely rolling in. Looks like it's going to be a rough one. You need a hand with anything out there? Nah, I can take care of this. What are you going to do? Ah, uh, let's see. Change out of this wetsuit. Yeah, that sounds good. Good call. Not like we can get anything done until the storm blows through anyway. Well, I better get my shit together here before it lets loose on us. My guess is it's going to last all night. Maybe longer. Yep. Storm is coming. Okay, dive storage. Change to close. Oh, nice! Should I shut my locker now that I'm done? No? Okay, yeah. Better to just leave it messy. Okay. This is great. I love that it's um, really easy to navigate. Like, you just get close to a door, you press space, and you're in. You don't have to worry about, like, where you were at. Like, like if you have to walk up to it or whatever. It's really... Yeah, I could use a rest area. Let's see how I'm looking in the mirror here. Oh, it's awesome. It actually has a reflection. Oh, my God. Too good. I love the little squeaky sounds of his shoes on the floor because they're wet because, you know, he's just came in from diving probably. All right, not much in the rest area. Hi, ah, little seagulls. Look at them. Oh, I wish I had some bread, some crackers or something. All right, let's see. Laboratory. It's quite a wharf they got. They got all kinds of stuff. Steve. Hey, Steve. What's a good word? Not hey, a whole lot. But no news is good news, right? Heck of a storm brewing out there, ain't it? Let's see. Back in Florida, we get used to weather like this. Anything I can do to help with the preparations? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, maybe we should break out the booze and have ourselves a hurricane party. That's more or less the plan. <laughs> As soon as everyone wraps up what they need to get done before the storm, I'm pretty sure we're all meeting in the rec room. Probably not Isabel. You know how she is. She'd rather do science by candlelight if you'd let her. Should be a pretty heavy storm. The radar was showing a lot of red. We'll be hmm. fine, though. The Institute keeps our preparations pretty thoroughly stocked. Good. Awesome. Right. Hey, this is Isabel. Isabel. She's Everything the workaholic. Cool? I suppose. The storm is most inconvenient. The timing couldn't be worse. 
We were making excellent headway on the project, and now we have to put it all on hold to prep the facility before it hits. <laughs> okay, let's see. Anything I can do to speed things up? What are you working on? The project will still be there after the storm. Let's see. Um, working on Currently, the Institute has been insisting we further research the local mollusks and sea snails in the area. Not terribly exciting on its own, I'll grant, but recent developments have been promising. That's all I can say at the moment. Look, I don't mean to brush you off or anything, but I need to focus on getting some things in order. I'll speak to you later, okay? She is very, um, rigid. She's like, look, I've got stuff to do, so... <laughs> fine, fine. The seagulls will keep me company. They like me. They're my friends. Uh, water looks good. It, it looks really good. Like, it's, it's really... Yeah, it's fun. Okay, let's see. Who are you? Rebecca. What's up, jerk? There you <laughs> are. I was worried I wasn't going to meet my asshole quota for today. Ouch. Have fun playing Aquaman this morning. Ouch, warm and fuzzy. Uh, let's see, not as much fun. Uh, it was fine until we had to cut the dive short. Let's see. Uh, needed help with anything? Oh, what? Too much time underwater make you too sensitive to take a little <laughs> joke. Man, I thought you were a little tougher than that. But no. Nope. Just packed away and cleaned the last of the gear. Hey, by the way, you heard the crew is meeting up in the rec room for the storm, right? I'll be the one getting drunk off my ass, so come have a beer with me later, okay? <laughs> nice. Can't wait until the party starts. I'm gonna drink shots through a snorkel. <laughs> there you go. All right. Let's see. Space to interact. Oh, the heater. Okay. Screwdriver required. All right. Um. Yeah, I guess go to sleep. Sure. Whoa. Investigate the scream. Okay. Okay. Where? Laboratory. Isabel, can I bother you for a second? What do you need? I was sleeping and I thought I heard someone scream. I haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary. Let's see. Um, yeah, I was sleeping and I heard a scream. I'm not sure. I've been pretty wrapped up in my work here. I thought I might have heard something like a scream, but I figured it was just the party or maybe just the storm. Now, you'll have to excuse me, Dean. The project requires my undivided attention. Yeah, she is definitely all about her science. Okay. Hmm. Well, we didn't go down this way. Let's go down a little bit further and see what else is on our wicked cool wharf here. I love the little droplets coming off of him as he runs. That's great. Okay, here's the rec center. This is where everybody was going to meet up. Sean. Hey, buddy, what's up? This might sound a little weird, but did you hear something like screaming? I suppose storm to last. Just wanted to know where I could get one of those beers. Seems strange to you. Anything seems strange to you? Think of it, yeah, I have. I think it's strange you aren't taking advantage of a drunk Rebecca. You know she likes, <laughs> right? Hey, never mind all that. How about you kick back and relax, huh? <laughs> I remember, we're getting paid for this. <laughs> yeah, get paid for it. What else is Seriously, it? the 
institute is paying us to live out here while we perform our research. But because of the storm we can't, so we get to party instead. Ergo, we are getting paid to party. How can you go wrong with that? <laughs> That's awesome. All right, all right. Uma, Hello, it's Uma. How are you holding up? What, because of the storm? I'm doing surprisingly well. Surprisingly well. Let's see. Had me worried about you seeing as you haven't been through a major storm before. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Yeah, you know I was pretty worried before, but I guess it's not that bad. Maybe it's the name Tropical Storm. Just sounds so official, you know? Anyway, now that it's actually here, it doesn't seem so bad. But I gotta say, this has turned out pretty nice. Not often we're working and having downtime are one and the same. I'm having a pretty good time. Okay. Another heater. Hey Tommy, can I bend your ear for a moment? You want to talk? Sure. How you doing, man? Sound a little bit weird, but did you hear someone screaming earlier? Concerned about the storm. Having a good time. Where can I grab one of those drinks? Yeah, let's ask and see if he heard the scream. Screaming? I mean, sorta. It's kind of a party if you missed it. Know what I mean? Music blaring. People shaking it, getting drunk. I fucking love parties, man. <laughs> Look at his shirt, hey, the you. misfits. Sure work, am I right? The misprints. <laughs> it's the misprints. That's hilarious. Try to relax. Plenty of time to get serious later. That's funny. Okay, and this is Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca, I have to ask you something. Oh, hey, what's up? What's up? I was thinking you might have heard someone scream earlier. Uh, well, we could to repair. This should be to fine. Prepare. I mean, we've done all we can. Just a tropical storm, anyway. I thought you were a Florida boy. Aren't you people supposed to be used to hurricanes and all that? Come on, what are you waiting for? Grab a drink and join the fun! <laughs> what, are you nervous about the storm? Cut loose, man, it's a party! Wow. She's not concerned at all. Here's Steve. 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 Oh, hey, Dean. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to sleep right through the party. Say, you don't look very good. Are you sick or something? Uh, now that you mention it, I do feel a little under the weather, no pun intended. Just your luck, am I right? Well... We can't fight these things. Sometimes. Our bodies are just at the mercy of the smallest organisms. Kind of ironic when you think about it. Look, why don't you try to enjoy the party? It's not every day the Institute signs our checks to kick back and relax. <laughs> hmm. Up to Trevor. Hey, let me ask you something. You didn't happen to hear someone scream a bit earlier, did you? Scream? Where did you hear a scream? Well, I'm not entirely sure if it was a scream. I was asleep when I thought I heard it. But it kind of sounded like it came from towards the equipment storage. Okay, listen close, man. I need to talk to you, but not here. Meet me in the security room. Don't tell anyone. You come alone. You got me? Trevor, you're kind of freaking me out a little. What's wrong? What are you? Shh. Not here. You walk out first and head over to the security room. I'll meet you there. Okay. So I go out first. Meet him in the security room. So Trevor knows the down low on <laughs> what's, what's going on, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. Alright. So... Security room. Okay, so we're right here. The light is flickering. Maybe because of the storm? Another heater. Alright, here we go. Let's see what's going on. Okay, I'm here. Now what's this all about? Okay, listen. This is gonna seem weird. Crazy, even. But after what I saw, I really don't know how else to describe it. 
Jesus, Trevor, man, you look like you saw a ghost. What happened? I think I know, but I don't want to say. Not until you've seen this first. Here, look. You see that monitor in there? Keep watching. Where is this? Dive storage? Wait a minute, who is that? Ooh. Oh, wow. Good lord. What the hell did we just see happen? Somebody just got attacked by something. Who and by what isn't exactly clear, as you can see from the video feed. But whoever it was got back up and shook it off like it was nothing. Yeah, then it looks like they changed clothes and just left. You don't think whoever it was is still in the rec room with the others, do you? I don't think we can rule it out just yet. And just so I know we're on the same page, you agree. That was what it looked like, right? I mean, we both just saw what looked like some kind of animal attack somebody, and then that somebody getting up and leaving like nothing happened, right? I saw it, but I'm not sure I believe it. That's gonna have to be good enough, I guess. Here, take this. Wait, you're giving me your gun? Why? <laughs> Don't worry. I keep a spare and some ammo in the security locker. I need you to have this, because you're the only one I can be sure is human right now. I could tell when you asked about the screams you heard in the rec room earlier. What do mm -hmm. you mean, is human? I mean, between what you witnessed and what we just saw on the security monitors, somebody out there isn't who they say they are. You're telling me that someone in this facility isn't really a person? I don't think whoever was attacked is even alive anymore, Dean. Whatever that fucking thing was is now running around, pretending to be human, and nobody but you and me have any idea. Holy shit. What if there's more of these things? If that's what we're dealing with, then how are we supposed to know which one of us is really human? I don't have an answer for that yet. For now, keep that gun on you and look around for clues. Probably start in dive storage. Maybe you can find something we missed in the video. This is nuts, Trevor. How can we be sure about this? I mean, fuck me, what if we're wrong? We'd be talking about taking innocent lives here. But what if we're right? You know we can't take that risk. Look, I need you on this one. Right now, it's you and me who got to protect the rest of our crew out there. We can't let word get around until we know for sure what we're dealing with. I'll head back to the rec room and cover for you. Find out whatever you can. And remember, not a word of this to anyone until we know who it was on that tape. Good luck. <laughs> Trevor's always got guns. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, ammo is infinite. Okay. Hmm... So we've got to find out, try and find out, who is Beecher. So yeah, this is very much like the thing. This is so cool. Hey Sean. Hey, Sean. hey buddy, what's up? <laughs> what's up? I see you have a gun. <laughs> uh, let's see. So these are the same questions. Anything seems strange to you? Come to think of it, yeah. Oh I no, that I was I already asked him about that. Of a drunk you know, so um, likes you back. That was my bad. I had already asked him that. Let's see. Uma. Hello, Uma. How are you holding up? What, because of the storm? I'm doing surprisingly well. All right. So glad to hear it. Uh, t -t 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 just hear anything that sounded screaming? like screaming. What, like someone was hurt or something? No, I can't say that I have. Might have been just the sound of the storm. It's awfully loud out there. But I gotta say, this has turned out pretty nice. Not often we're working okay. and having downtime are one and the same. I'm having hmm. a pretty good time. Hey Tommy, can Almost. I bend your ear for a moment? You wanna talk? Sure. How you doing, man? <laughs> How you doing? I see you have a gun. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Are you having a good time? Yeah, man. Of course. Aren't you? Anywho, sure beats work. Am I right? Okay, so there's not a whole lot of information to hey, Rebecca, go on, really. I ask you something. Oh, hey. What's up? Um...
be a screaming. Scream? Not really. I mean, the music is pretty loud. I can barely hear you right now. Come on, what are you waiting for? Grab a drink and join the fun. And then Trevor's back. Hey, you ready for this? I pull this trigger, one of two things is gonna happen. Well, I see, we don't have much of a choice. Just be sure before you go popping off shots. Just be sure. I think it's Steve, because he was talking about microorganisms being at the mercy and stuff. It would have been good to have a rat to be sort of this mess up. Trevor will remember that. Okay. It's a tough call. I'm glad I'm not the one to make it. Don't think I'd be able to make the game your So it's all based on your decisions, I think. I'm going to talk to him one more time, but... Oh, hey, Dean. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to sleep right through the party. Say, you don't look very good. Are you sick or something? Yeah, and I and that was when he said that... Um, I'm going to ask him if he heard anybody screaming, because before I asked him, I said I wasn't feeling well, and he said we're all at the mercy of microorganisms. Screaming, you say? <clears throat> nope. No, I don't think I've heard anything like that. Probably just hearing things. Maybe the storm knocked something over. Look, why don't you try to enjoy the party? It's not every day the Institute signs our checks to kick back and relax. I think it's Steve. I think it's Steve. Oh, oh it was him! <laughs> Okay, so lesson number one, don't shoot the creature when he's standing right next to you. Oopsie. Right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going after Steve. Although, you know, I mean, it might help steady my aim if I have a beer first, so maybe I should grab a drink before I shoot him. the rec center. Yeah, alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna like stand a ways away from him. Alright, I've gotta try to, oh, I can't really, there we go. Right, is that as far away as I can get? Yeah, okay, so. Bang! Oh no! Did I get him? Oh. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, so you really gotta like let the creature have it, I guess. It's not just a few shots, like you gotta really <laughs> my little pea shooter here. Oh dear. Trevor should be the one with the gun. He's the one that should be handling all the weaponry. Alright. <laughs> Maybe could I have a higher caliber gun? <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Not Trevor. No. Steve. It's Steve. Pop him. Yeah, get him. seem to shoot him anymore. Yeah, let him have it! Let him have it! Uh-oh. Oh no. Uh... Oh, I think it... I think it broke. I think it glitched. Ooh, bummer. Okay. Um... Oh no. <laughs> sure if I can back. Just... 
talk to anybody. Oh, I don't want to lose all that progress. Actually, I'm proud of myself. I was actually right the first time. I thought I got killed because the creature like came out of the vent or something. Apparently, it just popped out of her body because it was like inside of her. <clears throat> so I get it now. <laughs> I thought I made the wrong choice, and that's why I got killed. So you've got to really let the monster have it. Okay. Oh, not Thomas. Not Thomas. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> this is this is amazing. I love. It. <laughs> I love this. I'm just, I'm just like. I am not. It, Trevor should be the one using the gun. I am just shooting everything and everyone in the room. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go. Oh, jeez. What the heck? No, don't kill Sean. He's a decent guy. No, I... I shot Sean. <laughs> Can I get outside? Oh, no. 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 Talk to the monster. No. 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 They do have some nice music playing anyway. Are you sure I can't have a higher caliber weapon? Or at least not target my buddy Sean, because... All blood sample, then you can go... Okay, so... I, uh, re-recorded. I've gone through this about four times now, trying to record, and <laughs> things keep happening. I'm not saying that it's cursed, I'm just saying that some dark force doesn't want me finishing this game. Um, so... What, what happened now, it was Rebecca that was the monster this time. Yeah, every time that I go through, it's different, which is <laughs> just awesome. Um, but it, it can get confusing if you're trying to record a video. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I killed Rebecca, and now I've come into the lab. Um, I had the entire game recorded, and it, and it crashed, and the file is now corrupt. So, so I'm re-recording this part of it again um and this is like i say this is like my fourth or fifth playthrough um trying to record and, and get something so before it crashes again and corrupts again and all that other stuff um let me just say um if you want to check this game out for yourself which i highly highly recommend because every time you go through it it's a little bit different um highly recommend it game will be down in the description please leave a thumbs up and a subscribe and definitely head over and give this developer some love this game is amazing it is so super sci-fi it's story driven the writing is incredible like as you go through the different um you know uh, character trees the, the storyline it branches and you get you get slightly different results every time um different people are the monster at different times throughout the game there are different things that you have to do to try and tell who's who from you know the the mannerisms in which they you know have a conversation with you um yeah it's really really it, there's a lot to it there's a lot of layers and it's super super fun so anyway i'm going to continue and i'm going to try and get through the whole game but if it happens to crash again it'll it, the, the video will probably abruptly end <laughs> so 
<laughs> so here's hoping. Isabel, Let's we need talk to, talk. to Isabel. <sighs> this had better be an emergency. We have a very serious problem. I don't know if you're willing to believe this, but a member of the crew was killed by some kind of creature. The creature then went on to disguise itself as human. Son of a bitch. I knew it. <laughs> what do you mean you I knew mean, it? I had a feeling. I figured it couldn't have gotten too far. Allow me to explain. You see, the project we've been focusing on recently, it started out with mollusks and sea snails until we discovered what we thought initially was a completely new species. A small green slug with yellow spotted patterns along its sides. Nothing about it seemed particularly noteworthy until one day we discovered its more fascinating attributes. Shapeshifting. You gotta be shitting me right now. No, I'm quite serious. We placed the specimen in a terrarium alongside other species. We were shocked to find as the amount of new species would seem to disappear, more of the more common species would proportionally be present. We found that... No, not the fact that it can shapeshift. I mean, you can't possibly mean to tell me that thing that's out there picking off the crew is some aquatic slug. I've seen it on video, partially at least, and I can tell you it was no slug. This thing had legs. That's what I was getting to. We found that not only could it mimic other species at a cellular level, but in ingesting other organisms, it seemed to rapidly evolve. In many cases, acquiring attributes derivative of its prey. So you're saying this little sea slug can mimic its way up the food chain and become just like whatever it eats? I'm saying it doesn't end there. Just because it consumes an organism doesn't mean it's restricted to just taking the same form and aping its skill set. The creatures have demonstrated the capability to reassign organic matter into completely different new tissue. If left to its own devices, we found that they could produce rudimentary venom sacs, crude wings have formed, acidic saliva glands, and even initial cranial telemetric systems. We've witnessed these things move things without touching them. Oh, fuck me. Now you're telling me these things are telepathic? No, I'm saying they could be if the conditions were met and the evolutionary demand was concentrated enough. Essentially, they're the perfect adaptive organic machines. Oh my god. Not god, Dean. Science. Yeah? Well, one of your little science experiments is running amok and taking people's lives. Relax. There are procedures in place for this kind of situation. The Institute can fly containment squad out here by daybreak. The storm complicates things, but I'm sure they can manage for a high-level emergency like this. Are you hearing me right now? At least one of these things is out there right now, killing people and posing in their skins as replacements. Right now, we have no way of telling who's really human. Yes, we do. I can run a test that will prove definitively among us who is genuinely human, but I'm going to need samples of everyone's blood. Here, take these empty needles. Collect a sample from all the remaining crew members and bring them back to me. But hurry. If we wait too long, all the cells will have already assimilated and we will have missed our chance. If we examine everyone's blood quickly, we can spot the predatory cells still in the act of fusing with the host's native blood cells. That's how we'll find out who's really one of us. Sounds risky. I'd have to get pretty close to someone to extract their blood. But if this will prove definitively the identity of the creature, then it's worth the risk. Just don't get too close. The creature's awareness is greater as it jumps from host to host. It'll learn your behaviors and adapt to it. That's what it does. Be careful. Sweet. Yeah, the, the, like I say, this game is super, super sci-fi. Like, so cool. Whoa, damn it, don't sneak up on me like that. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't trying to. <laughs> what are you Sorry. doing out here in a storm like this? Everyone in the rec room is scared to be around each other, so they all scattered to different buildings. I came out here to try and talk some sense into them. Ugh, you shouldn't be doing that, Trev. It's really not a smart idea to be out on your own right now. You out here by yourself, too. At least I think you are. <laughs> you ain't got any creepy crawlers shawl shanking their way through your guts telling you to kill me right now. Right? My guess is that if I did, I wouldn't be so inclined to tell you about it, would I? No, nah, I'd guess you wouldn't, so I suppose there ain't much point in asking. It's been a while since you ran off to check on Isabel. Anything you want to cop to? Actually, there is something. 
There's a helicopter being dispatched to come pick us up. Real pros. G-men, I guess. You know the type. Top-level operatives who know how to clean up a mess like this. Finally, some good news. So now what? We just hang tight till they get here? Not quite. We can't risk taking someone back with us who might be infected with the creature. Isabel's got a blood test she's putting together, but I need to get a sample from everyone on deck so we can make sure we're all clean. And this test is guaranteed? No chance of a false positive, is there? You'd have to ask Isabel about that. All I know is that if I don't get the samples under the microscope as quick as possible, the blood from the creature is going to be impossible to distinguish from the blood of any of us. Oh, hell, man. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Hurry up and get the samples before we run out of time and have to go back to the spray and pray technique. That's what I came up here to do. Head inside the lab and wait with Isabel. When I get back with the samples, we'll find out if anyone's not on the up and up. Then we'll just have to make it until the chopper gets here. Okay, so he's waiting in the lab with Isabel to go get blood samples from... Rebecca and Steve and who else? No, Rebecca's dead in this one. <laughs> Try to remember who is left. This should be Uma, I think. Yep. Relax, Uma. It's me, Dean. <clears throat> I'm human. Listen. I need something from you. I need to take a sample of your blood so we can run it under the microscope and make sure you're really you. Like a blood test? Like my vision? The ones about the microscope? Yeah, just like that. <laughs> I only need a little. Will you comply? Or are you going to make me take it from you? I suppose you have every right to want to figure out who's the monster. Okay, make it quick. I suck at needles, but I'm willing to give in to whatever it takes to figure this out. Thanks. We should know the results soon. I think it'd be best if you just stay here until we know for sure, for everyone's safety. Hurry up and test the blood. Show everyone what I already know. And be careful. No one is to be trusted. Hmm. Well, she had kind of an unusual reaction. She was like, like my vision? The microscope? Hmm. Is that a human reaction? She just like in shock, maybe. Just traumatized and Steve. Isabel's got a blood test that can tell us who's the creature and who's a human. There's also some kind of contingency squad flying in through the storm that's gonna wipe the place. Thank God for all that then. If they're sending in professionals, why the blood test? I would think that would be obvious, Doctor. Squad or no squad, we're still bumping elbows with a homicidal shapeshifter, and I think we'd all breathe a little easier knowing who it was. Now hold out your arm, please. Fair point. All right then, have at it. I hope Isabel's test can finally put the matter to rest. I've never seen everyone so on edge. Not that I really blame them. This really is a nightmare. If it's okay, I'd like to be alone again for a while. Somehow I just feel safer that way considering the circumstances and all. Mm-hmm. I hear what you're saying, Doc. I hear what you're saying. Okay, security room. Uma was in the rack hall. Anybody is in the bathroom, usually. Quarters was empty. I gotta go to storage. back to the lab. Listen, there's a test we can do to find out which one of us is really the shapeshifter, but I need to collect a blood sample from everyone to do it. Blood sample? You mean with a needle, right? That gotta be a problem, Tom. No problems, just... Ah, hell. I guess I don't have a choice on this one. <laughs> if I don't participate, I guess it doesn't point a good indication my way, does it? It really doesn't. But look, Isabel's calling in some high-level specialists who are flying out here right now. <clears throat> It'll all be over soon. 
Our only concern right now is making sure we single out the creature before they get here. Yep. I'll take a peek in the bathroom. I don't think there's anybody in there, but... Oh, there is! Sean's in here. Okay, Sean, here's the story. Since nobody knows which one of us is the monster, I'm going around taking blood samples. Isabel's got a test ready in the lab that can answer our little identity crisis. To that end, I'm gonna need a contribution. My blood? Are, uh... Is the test gonna pick up any, uh... Any other things? <laughs> Relax, we're just looking for signs of the creature. Nobody's interested in what you do in your free time. I'm in kind of a rush, so would you mind? Oh no, yeah, that's fine, that's okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? Why don't you let me handle this for you? I, uh, kinda know my way around these things pretty well. Phew, there we are. Boy, that takes me back. Better days I can tell you that much. <laughs> Man, I'm feeling kinda sick to my stomach. It's probably just tweaked, I guess. This is definitely up there with the more uh, nerve-breaking waiting periods of test results I've endured. Okay, so now we've got everybody except for Trevor and Isabel who are in the lab. All right, Trev, your turn. Just need a little sample of your blood and we can all know for a fact what you and I already know. Okay, man. Just make it quick. And let's be done with all this. Okay, you're just gonna feel a little pinch here. Man, I've gotten shots before. Just do it already. <laughs> there, see? No big deal. I've gotten shots before. Just do it. So, this test of yours, can we fully count on it? Is there any chance of an error? Tell me now or consider the blood on your hands. So long as you get the samples under the microscope before every single invasive predatory cell has fully assimilated, you'll notice an obvious difference. And it better be obvious. Don't think you're in the clear just yet, Professor, as far as I'm concerned. We all need to pass the test like our life depends on it. Because it does. I'd expect nothing less. Here, you'll be needing a sample of my blood as well. All right, that should do it. Put it under the microscope and see for yourself. I'm human. Hmm. Yeah, we will see. We will see. Okay, Dean. You're looking pretty human. Isabel, who is so adamant that she is human. See for yourself, I'm human. Huh? Okay. Well, fair enough. She is. Sean. Hanging out in the latrine. He said he felt sick, but he looks okay. Trevor. Trevor's looking good. Rebecca. No sample, right? Uma. Oh, it's Uma. <laughs> it's it's Uma. Looks like we're gonna have two bodies in the rec hall. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go say hello to Rebecca. I thought it was kind of weird, her reaction. She was like, oh, my vision with the microscope? I'm like, are you speaking human right now? She wasn't. See, I wonder if I can talk to her. Tell her goodbye. Hurry up and test the blood. Show everyone okay. what I already know. And be careful. No one Show is to be trusted. everyone what I already know. And hide behind the ceiling tile here. Oh, I got a key! Get you some of that.
Saved on the ceiling tile anyway, because they both went out the same tile. Look at the carnage! There's bodies everywhere. Splattery guts. Ugh, and I still can't get a beer. Alright, so we got a key. I don't know what the key is for. Oh! Maybe it's for one of the lockers. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. right, 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 right. Okay, so... I'm going straight to the locker, because I know what's in there. Because last playthrough, I found something super sweet in the locker. But I never picked up the key like that. It was given to me in the last one. See, that's what I mean. Like, every time you play the game, it's a little bit different. And you don't always get... Oh, I'm running right by it. You don't always get the, the same things. Um, yeah, the locker's over here. Excuse me, Tom. <laughs> yeah! I wanted a higher caliber weapon. And now I've got it. Boink. All right, let's we talk no longer to Tom. have a working microscope, and the creature is still running among the crew. What? What happened to it? No idea. I left to try to kill it after I gathered the blood samples, but when I returned, it was destroyed. No one is to be trusted from this point. Oh, that's heavy. Seems like we're up Shit's Creek, all right. How long until the helicopter gets here? Don't know that either. The specialists have a procedure for this kind of thing, but it won't really matter if we're all slaughtered before they get here. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I got a spear gun. Game changer. No more pop, 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 pop with the little pea shooter. Somebody destroyed the microscope while I was out trying to kill the creature. We have no absolute way of figuring out which one of us is human. Oh, well. That's a straight. So what now? Are we just fucked or what? I don't know. Maybe... I'm looking into an alternate way to do this. For now, it would be best if we all just stayed away from each other. What about the specialist flying in? What happens if we can't kill off the creature in time? I don't know. I'm assuming they take us to some headquarters and run similar methods of testing. Isabel told me if the cells aren't examined quickly, a blood test is ineffective. So I just don't know. All right, so back to the lab. Isabel, what the hell happened to the microscope? <laughs> How are we supposed to figure out the shapeshifter's identity now? Calm down. There must be another way. The creature has a high tolerance for extreme temperatures. If you were to be able to manipulate the air conditioning units, Maybe you could get the temperature low enough to trigger a reaction. What kind of reaction? Would cold temperature force this thing to reveal itself? I wouldn't say that. I was thinking maybe more along the lines of condensation. A human's breath becomes visible in low temperatures due to the air we exhale being warmed by our bodies. The creatures are cold-blooded, so... So anybody whose breath I can't see in cold temperatures is probably the creature in disguise. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So I've got to manipulate the air conditioning, but I need a screwdriver. You can probably lower the temperature levels by using a screwdriver on the air conditioning units. I think Rebecca kept one in a toolbox in the dive equipment lockup. Ah, uh, good old Rebecca. Too bad I had to shoot her in the face. Go get the screwdriver, and then we'll start testing. Yeah! <laughs> oh, sweet. That's awesome. Okay, so the AC is over here, I think. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Nice! Crank it up! Crank it up! Oh, yeah! A little frosty effect. 
Oh, look at the little... That's great. Little smoke system coming out there. Okay, I'm breathing. I can see my breath. Uh, I can't see Tom's breath. That's unfortunate. Tom, buddy, I can't see you breathing. Hmm. Well, I guess that answers that question. Oh, nice! Yeah! <laughs> Slow mo. Yeah. Is, is that it? Is it finally <laughs> dead? <laughs> Looks like it. Wait a minute. I think I hear something outside. Could it be? Something outside? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my chopter. Hello, my chopter. Yeah. Should I see if these guys want to ride on the Hello, my chopter? Oh, I can't go in. Oh, okay. So it's the game is truly over then. I thought maybe I could go and talk to him and be like, "Hey, come on, guys." <laughs> that would be a little too immersive. That would be a little bit too taking it a step too far. Somebody's gonna have to mop up in the uh, rec center though. That carpet is gone. This was fabulous. I, you know, I, I gotta tell you, this was fabulous. Definitely go show this stuff some love. Go, go, you know, link is down in the description. Like I say, just um, definitely give him some support because this was crazy creative. So well done. Really, really good. fly off into the sunrise and Cthulhu rises up and pulls the hell of my chopter out of the sky <laughs> yeah this this was great uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video it took uh, several several tries to get this one but uh, we got it and that's what's important oh yeah sea slug sea cucumber attached to the helicopter Things are not going to go well. Um, consider subscribing if you like the video. And uh, leave a comment down below if you know of any other games like this that I might enjoy playing. And yeah. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. No news yet on just how widespread infection has become. But we have been told here at Channel 12 that attacks have spread rapidly at Violence erupted across the downtown area tonight as people <laughs> fleeing a coffee shop massacre were gunned down by military forces. Officials have claimed it was not known which of the individuals were actually human and which were creatures from another world. I love that they do the uh, <laughs> the news reports at the end. Oh, the creature got out. All right, guys. Go check this game out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.